Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Jioni njema tena Mungu wetu ametupa. Another good evening our God has given us. Mtulinda tangu jana. Secured us from yesterday. Tuokoa na kila kizuizi. He has saved us from all not worthy. Mtupa tena jioni njema ya kukumbushana. Given us again a good evening to remind ourselves. Sia tunajifunza neno imani. That's why from last week you're learning the word faith. Kwa na hakika na mambo hayako. An evidence of things not seen. Kwa na hakika na mambo hayako. Being certain with things that are not physical. Lakini waamini yako. But to believe they are. So imani ni kitu unacho ndani na nafsi yako wewe mwenyewe. So faith is something you should have in your own soul. Tasi kwa mkeo wala kwa mwanao au kwa mamako. Not to your mother to your wife or your child. Paul alifika mahali akasema imani uliyonayo uwe nayo katika nafsi yako wewe mwenyewe. That's why Paul said to a point that the faith you have you should have in your own soul. Si kwa mwingine. Not to somebody else. Si kwa mwingine. Not to someone else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mana wengi duniani hapa because many in this world wanashaka wamezoea kushika kitu akione they used to holding something and see physically ndo asikia amani sasa uzima huko at peace life is here mana ameshika kitu because he's holding something hata amevaa kitu he has won something hata amemesha kitu and swallowed something ndo anasikia amani and feels at peace lakini kwa imani but by faith Tunaamini tumemeza kitu. We believe we swallow something. Na ni Yesu Kristo bwana wetu. And it's Jesus Christ our Lord. Sasa so, vita viko. So the battles are there. Lakini hakuna vita. But it sounds like no battles. Vile wewe unavyomeza kitu alafu uwe na amani. The way you swallow something and have peace with it. Hata uwe na amani kwamba saa hii naamini usimu. And have peace believing I'm well right now. Bwana umefanya kitu, umevaa kitu au umekula kitu. Because you've won something, you've swallowed something with you. Si nasi Mungu wetu jina lake anaitwa For us to our God is called Mimi niko ambaye niko I am whom I am Wakauliza They asked Wewe Musa mtumishi wa Mungu unasema Moses the servant of God you say Mkutana na Mungu wa baba zetu You've met God of our fathers And they are mekutuma tutoke Misri tuende nchi And the one is the one who sent you we get out of Egypt tuliyoaidiwa And we go to the promised land Kwamba hivi tuko utumwani hapa Right now we are in bondage Tumezoea kazi hizi We are used to this heavy work kumbe tuko utumwani yet we are Asa in mungu we, wa baba zetu anaitwa nani so what is the name of our fathers jina lake what is his name na mtumishi wa mungu Musa alikuwa amemuuliza huyo mungu and the servant of god moses had heard anaambia niende kwa farao nikaombe aruhusu watu wa israeli watoke you tell me to go to pharaoh and allow people to get out of egypt sasa wakiniuliza huyo so, mungu anaitwa nani nitawambia when they ask me what is the name of the god what will i say jina lake his name Naitwa Johanna au anaitwa Mariam John or Mary Mungu akamwambia God told him Waambie jina lake Tell them his name Huyo Mungu wa baba yenu That God of your fathers of your fathers Anaitwa mimi niko His call I am ambaye niko whom I am Ah okay Mimi niko I am ambaye niko whom I am So So, yuko eh hey, yuko. He is yes he is. Aonekani kwa macho. He is not physical. Lakini uamini yeye hey, yuko. But to believe he is. Na kwa imani ameniponya. And by faith he has healed me. Na kwa imani nimeomba nimeombewa nimepata. And by faith I have received. Maana yeye hey, yuko ambaye yuko. Because he is who he is. Atafanya. He'll do something. <laughs> ah. Maana anaitwa mimi nuko. Because he's called I am. Ambaye niko. Whom I am. Lakini but wengi wamezoea mevahirisi kiunoni ndo asikia au Men are used to having charms on their waist and feel okay. kitu kiko chenyewe anakiona to see something physical. Ndio si rahisi watu kuamini. That's why it's not easy for people to believe. Ndio utaona hata mwinjilisti akasimama miujiza ikafanyika. You will see an evangelist will stand the Watu wanachagua yale maovu maovu ndio wanayatangaza si yale ya People will choose evil and announce around. Maana wana maswali wapi? Because they question how. Eh? Okay. Mbona hayaandiko yale mazuri yale? Why is the good not written? Mazuri kama yale ya walikoni like what Waseme is tulipima tukaona matumbo yameoza in likoni we examine the intestines are rotten tukapima tena asubuhi yake we examine again the following morning kumbe yes. mama huyu aliombewa that mother was paid for 
angawa watu wakimbilie Mungu huyo at least people to repeat that is yeah. covered down and never read lakini wacha mtu ameanguka shimoni but should one oh. get to a pit ameanguka shimoni he got to a pit ilikuwa limechimbwa halikuwekwa kinga it was dug nothing was covered that is what will we'll spread everywhere bona haya mazuri haya simu why should the good be announced? and mungu ndiye anayafanya and it's god doing all this na kila mwanadamu anataka mema and every man being is ngao watu wakimbilie mungu huyo wa mema at least people to repeat that god to be healed wapate amani and get peace na wakipona ni furaha ya dunia nzima how when they are healed the well bona haya mema hawataki yafanyike why don't they want the good to be announced And because he has a time and that is the work of the devil amen amen